In this video, I'm going to show you how you can train the mass car CNN model and then use it to uh, segment nuclei. So um, I'm going to uh, go in the mass car CNN folder and then uh, so we have a bunch of folders that are important here, training and running. So I'm going to open the training notebook and still organize the same way. So I'm going to first load uh, everything I need to run the codes and uh, and then uh, look at the parameters. So again, it's it's uh, organized in a similar way. So I'm going to first uh, define the training directory. It's going to be in training here, where we have all control code and white field images. So again, the last parameter here would define the ratio of training data that is put in validation data. If I don't define the validation directory, but here I have one, so I'm going to find it. It's going to be here. And then here, so we use a pre-trained model, so a, a mass carcinogen model that has been uh, trained with the COCO data set. And if I go in the input model in the pre-trained model, I don't have any ones, any uh, pre-trained model, so I need to um, get one. And so to do that, we're going to go back to uh, the GitHub directory. So GitHub on, on my GitHub. If you go to nuclear segmentation and marker ID and notification, uh, so where we downloaded all the codes, uh, we can go down and here uh, for third party uh, libraries, we have a mascar CNN. So it's uh, the code that's been defined, the people that designed the mascar CNN method. And there's Biomac DSB. I'm going to click on that. So actually, it's uh, people that used the mascar CNN in a different way. Uh, for the Kaggle workflow. And on this GitHub, there is a pre trained model with Coco data set. So I'm going to go down, scroll down. And here, when you arrive at prediction, here they talk about uh, the pre trained models. Here you can see, and especially they have the Mascar CNN Coco, which is available on their Google Drive. So I'm going to uh, click on Google Drive and select the Mascar CNN and then download it. And so here, so it's in French, but it's just telling me that the antivirus uh, couldn't couldn't uh, state if it's safe or not, but I know it's safe, so I'm just gonna uh, upload it anyway. And now I'm gonna uh, just speed up the video so we don't have to wait uh, for the entire downloading time. All right, download is complete. I'm just gonna close these two tabs. I'm gonna go in my uh, download, cut, and cut this uh, zip file, go back to where I put my GitHub uh, folder, which is in there, and going to Mascar CNN pre trained models. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to unzip it here. Sorry. Extract here. All right. And so um, it created a new folder model with all the pre trained model, and the only one I'm interested in is this one. So I'm going to cut it, paste it here, and remove those two because I don't need them anymore. And now I have the pre trained model I want to use. So let's go back here, and now if I go to selecting pre trained models, I have the mascar CNN that's been pre trained with the Coco data set. That's what I want to use. And um, then the output directory, which is going to be in models like this. Uh, all right. And so um, now we have the parameters related to the training. So we can uh, train. Heads on me, we can train the whole network. So if I uncheck this one, I'm just going to train the whole network. If I uncheck this one and check this one, I'm just going to train the heads. Uh, here I'm going to uh, have both checked because I want to do uh, fine tuning. So first training the heads on me and then training the entire network. Uh, you can define the number of epochs and the learning rate for the heads, the number of epochs and the training and the learning rate for the the whole network. I'm going to keep those values. 
uh, but I'm going to change the number of augmentation because it's going to be very long otherwise and here it's just for demonstration so I'm just going to put it to two and the image size here needs to be increased to 512 to have the actual image size and now I'm going to train uh, my mask CNN model so you see it's uh, I think it's 44 images at the beginning so when you have two augmentations it's going to be 44 plus uh, 44 times 2 where we apply that augmentation that augmentation is really important with mask RCN and even though here it's definitely not enough and now I'm uh, starting the first epoch for the heads only and then it will uh, do the three next epochs for the entire network so now I'm just going to speed up the video uh, for the training all right, training is down. <clears throat> so as you can see, there's a bunch of, of different losses. Uh, first one here is the uh, loss of the class um, at the end of a regional uh, proposal network, region proposal network, and the B-box loss for region proposal network. And then for Mascar CNN, there are three losses, the class loss for Mascar CNN, the bounding box for Mascar CNN, and the segmentation mask. And if you add all these losses, you actually get the loss here. So best way to look at this is again to use the denser board. I'm going to stop it, run it again. And uh, so here I have only one model. And what really makes sense is to look at the loss and the validation loss. So if you look at the other losses, you can see if there's something that is better estimated, uh, for example, if a, if a class or the bounding box is better estimated, it's, it's converging better, etc. But mainly what you want to look at is those two. So what is difficult then is that we only have a few epochs, so we cannot really make a decision here, even though here it's decreasing, clearly not reaching a plateau, doesn't look like it's reaching a plateau, but we know here that from Mascassian and we would need way more uh, augmentation, like 100 augmentation would be uh, really better. Anyway, we're going to just check what we get here. So I'm going to uh, close training notebook, open the running notebook. So load everything we need, define the parameters. So here it's going to be input directory, the images we want to process, so the ones that are in test. Input model is going to be the one we just trained here. And the uh, output model, so I didn't really define any folder, so I'm going to go back uh, here actually. If I go to data sets and apply segmentation networks, I'm going to create a new folder that I'm going to call results. And if I go back here, I'm going to define the output directory as results. And as we do that augmentation, we actually crop and zoom in. So it's generally when you do the augmentation, it's better to give a higher size of the network uh, than the ones that were, that's been trained on. If you don't do that augmentation, you just define the same size. And uh, now it's running. And um, the first image. That's processing, always take a little bit more time. So I don't know why this is where it shouldn't be. It's been probably copied before. And so now the second has been processed. So it's it's a bit, it takes more time to process Mascar CNN than a unit or a stylist. So here we have the results. So as you can see, it's not perfect, definitely not perfect. Um, but we just, you know, we just used uh, three augmentations. So by increasing the number of augmentation, two augmentation actually, we would definitely uh, improve. Uh, the results here, we see that we have, we missed we missed, we missed some area, if I go back to the test, take the first one, it's going to be this one, definitely see that we are you know, missing large chunks here, otherwise it looks pretty decent, I would say. 
And finally, if we look at this white field, so don't forget, and it's again, it's, it's, it's not great yet. So we would need to do more augmentation there.